How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, let me tell you, today I learned the importance of an ultrasound machine. Man, stick around, you will too. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel, uh, checking us out. You know, um, today I really did learn how important it is to have an ultrasound machine. If not one for your yourself, a, a friend with one. And today, one of our friends, Brian Carter from BC Balls, came by, and he really helped us out by ultrasounding um, a couple girls. I. Uh, I took some video just kind of a, of us in the room doing it. I'm going to show you guys that. I'm going to speed it up a little bit so it doesn't take all day. Um, but man, I learned so much. I learned just exactly how important it is to know how big those follicles are. It's going to save your males so much. We've been blessed with here recently some males that just don't care to keep eating. So we're so thankful for that. But, um, yeah, man, we learned just how much you really need an ultrasound machine. Um, because I, there's the fire lesser that I, sh I was sure she was getting ready to ovulate. She's got nine millimeter follicles, you know. Um, let me show you that. I want to show you this girl. Okay, guys, look how big she is. I mean, I can't fit my hand around her, right? Nine millimeter follicles, okay? Trust me, you need an ultrasound machine. Because, okay, uh, let's see. Granted, She's not small, but 25 millimeter follicles. Look at, it. and you know, this is Callie. She's produced all of our Calico stuff. So that should tell you how, without <laughs> an ultrasound machine, just how difficult it is to, you know, I mean, the only way I knew, know that Womo was by palpating was because she's uh let's see 40 millimeters her follicles are she's getting ready to ovulate um her next shed will be her pre-ovulation shed you know so look forward to a video coming of us turning um an old coke machine into an incubator i know they've been done before but um we'll figure out some way to do it really cool and if it doesn't work we'll blow it up buy a new one uh, so yeah, man, God, I'm so thankful for Brian coming by here and um, ultrasounding those girls. So man, B, thank you so much, dude. Uh, you, you really opened my eyes to a lot and we'll be getting an ultrasound machine for sure in the future. So you guys check this footage out of us running around the room and you know, it's, third bedroom so it's not 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 the we didn't have the most room but we made the best of it so you guys check this out and uh we'll be right back
really easily with our hands. Uh, oh my god. We don't have to go much further than that to see what's going on here. <laughs> How do you have such big follicles, you little beauty? Jesus. I'm gonna have to go about measuring this. I'm gonna say the edge is about right here. Yeah, she's over 30. I mean, she's not far from her. You gotta be off feet, right? Yeah. She's not off feet? So it won't be long and she'll be off feet. Uh, she's, she's, I, I'd record that as 30 plus because yes. they're so smashed together that, uh, it's, it's hard to know exactly where they are, but the thing about ultrasound is it's not important to know exactly where they are. It's just what stage they're in. 30 plus. We keep them big and they stay eating here. Everybody, welcome back to the channel, man. Um, I hope you enjoyed that quick rundown of uh, Brian coming by to ultrasound some girls for us. Um, go ahead and tell everybody your info, oh, Brian. Man, no problem. This is Brian Carter of BC's Balls. Uh, no matter what, here, man, great dude. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> he gets some feeders from me and stuff. So we were talking about ultrasound, and we've used an ultrasound the last couple of seasons, and we came by to scan some of his girls. A little bit jealous. He's got some a little further along than we do. <laughs> uh, but no, great looking, great, great, great looking room, man. Great looking collection. Uh, O'Malley's Morphs, check them out. BC's Balls on Facebook, check us out. Uh, also, the local Rep to Chip distributor in Knoxville, Tennessee. So give us a yell if you need some Rep to Chip or. Look at our baby snakes on Facebook and Morph Market. Morph Market, yeah. Definitely check them out on Morph Market, guys. And Man, he stopped by and brought me some swag. You know I love stickers. Check that out. Anything with the state of Tennessee and Knoxville on it, staying here. Look at this shirt. Boom. Oh, my God. The back. Yes. Is that not the coolest back to any shirt you've ever seen? Awesome, man. Well, guys, thank you so much. Check Brian out on his Morph Market. He sells the hell out of some snakes. You need to go buy some of his snakes. He's all over Facebook. Definitely check him out. Brian, man, thank you so much for coming oh, by. If you say us in Tinley in March, stop us and say hey. Yeah, he's going to be Tinley in March. You guys pay attention to that, man. He'll be everywhere, you know, getting a feel for things. So um, stop by, say what's up to my buddy, and PMA, guys. Have a great day. We'll holler at you later.